Hey, welcome. It's Mary Ellen McGonigal with MEM Investment Research. Welcome. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you ways that you can use volume to help you profitably trade stocks. And for those of you not familiar, a bit of background, I do have quite a bit of experience both on and with Wall Street. I was portfolio manager of over two billion in assets during my time in New York City. And from there, I did join William O'Neill and Company in Los Angeles, where I worked with top portfolio managers and analysts, helping them, advising them on the broader markets, as well as individual stock selection. And for those of you not familiar, Bill O'Neill is the founder of Investors Business Daily, and his work is all about helping uh, professional as well as individual investors uncover that next big winning stocks using a proven system. So a lot of my work is based on that foundation. More recently, I'm now the managing director of equities at simplertrading.com and also the author of a top performing newsletter, MEM Edge Report, which you can find out more about at my website, meminvestmentresearch.com. Calm. Let's get started. I'll share with you now what we are going to be covering today. First up is why volume is so important. We're also going to get into five items that higher volume in a stock can signal as far as the future trading action for that stock. Also, there are certain technical indicators that I have found over my many years that work really well when you're screening for stocks that are trading with high volume. Also, we're going to be looking at stocks under accumulation versus stocks that are under accumulation and how this volume as well as other key characteristics can really help you define what is taking place. And as usual, I'm going to use history as a guide. I'm going to be sharing with you some charts. Uh, Many of them are current. Some of them are a little bit dated. But as always, we are going to be using that precedence. And of course, that's what technical analysis is all about, uncovering that trend, but using historical precedent as your guide. So let's go ahead and start at what I call the beginning. First up, I want to share with you why exactly volume is important when you are viewing the chart of your stocks. And number one is when you see higher volume, it oftentimes indicates that institutions are getting involved with that stock. And of course, these guys run billions of dollars. Their movements in the markets are going to have the most impact on your stock's movement. So you want that institutional support, if you will, behind you. Oftentimes for institutions, it takes very long for them to assume a new position or even to reduce the position of an existing holding. So that volume could well be only the beginning of more either advances or declines. And I talk about high volume. In essence, I'm talking about volume that is above average. And one metric that is very simple and easy to use is comparing that current day or weekly volume relative, let's talk about daily first, relative to the average over the last 50 days. The average volume is that currently above that. Accumulation versus distribution. Of course, when a stock is under accumulation, you're seeing higher volume as the stock continues to advance. And quite the opposite, when a stock begins a potential downtrend, oftentimes that distribution uh, will be simultaneous with high volume. So you're going to see quite a few examples as we move forward with that. But let's talk now about five things that higher volume can indicate for your stock. And I talked about the concept of institutions being involved or even a gathering of individuals. We're seeing that quite a bit more in today's market. But overall, it means people as well as institutions are either getting into or exiting a stock en masse. The stock could very well be beginning an uptrend and that volume for my work is gonna be a critical component when putting it together with the chart pattern. 
And then likewise, it could be in the beginning stages of a downtrend, which of course you don't want to be a part of. Volume also is going to provide you with confirmation of that uptrend or downtrend. And then oftentimes, in addition to using these characteristics for individual stocks, this volume will help you decide whether an industry group or sector is rotating in or out of favor. Let's talk about pinpointing your entry and exit points using volume. One of the key ways that you can do that is if a stock gaps up on volume, you'll see this oftentimes around earnings season, you'll want to buy that stock on a pullback. However, know that that stock gap up on volume can be very bullish. Or if a stock breaks what I call key support on volume, that's going to be your signal to exit the stock. Or oftentimes before stocks longer advance, it will break out of a saucer-like base on volume, and that is oftentimes an ideal buy point. You do want to have a system to screen for these high volume events. Most trading platforms do offer that. And again, you'll use that average volume over the last 50 days as your base point. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm sharing with you a daily price chart of a company called Farfetch. FTCH is the ticker symbol. This was a big one of many winners for my MEM Edge report. And I'm pointing out here, this is the end of 2020 when FTCH broke out of this lengthy multi-month base. Take a look at that volume. Now we actually added the stock to our list just before that. It did pull back, but this high volume day gave us that real confidence to put it as a strong buy candidate. As the stock continued to advance higher upon that base breakout, take a look at the volume characteristics. And this went on for about six weeks throughout that period. It was continually being advised as a strong buy because those high volume characteristics were pointing to institutional investors wanting in. Uh, this was all about good news as far as an infusion of capital to help the stock grow on top of strong earnings. So we can see that the stock did go on. This was a triple digit gainer for us. But again, that volume was what gave us the confidence to really double down on the stock. Another daily price chart we're looking at here is Align Technologies. This is a current price chart, ALGN. So I'm going to share with you a couple of examples because I did talk to you about that gap up on volume historically being quite bullish for a stock as far as future movements out of that. So on this particular date back here late October 2020, ALGN came out with very strong earnings, 52% year-over-year earnings growth. I talked about using that pullback as an ideal buy point, and the stock did go on to advance significantly from that. Now, moving forward to this February date here, we did see another gap up on very big volume on earnings. However, the stock did not advance beyond that gap up. So this is where it's important to have a good uh, feel for the broader markets. And at this point in time, high growth stocks and certainly high multiple stocks did fall out of favor here in February of this year. So we can see the advance was stalled and then it did fail on heavy volume. So uh, moving forward even further, this is a current price chart. We can see that last week this ALGN did have a very significant advance. Take a look at that big volume. So from here, the stock oftentimes after a big move, you'll see a pullback. It pulled back right to this 10 day simple moving average. What I'm pointing out here is that that pullback occurred on lower volume that is bullish. 
And then today upon this recording, this is Thursday the 21st of June, the stock did have another advance, 2.3% move on heavy volume. So another bullish day today uh, for ALGN. I did want to also share the volume screening that you can do. Also, weekly charts can be equally as powerful. This is a bit of a dated chart. It's Life Advantage LFVN, taking us back to uh, 2019. But it did hit my screens because for me, I am screening not only for daily, but also weekly improvement in volume characteristics for that stock. So we can see LFVN on this date in May of 2019, the stock had this sharp uptick which advanced the stock above these simple shorter term moving averages on above average volume. So that was that first bullish signal. Uh, Oftentimes there are individuals that may want to wait for that stock to advance above this 200 day simple moving average before entering. But net net, you can see that this first weekly advance on well above average volume was that first turning point signal and the stock did go on for a 300% advance. Also, we talk about uh, spotting uptrends. We're also going to want to know how you can use volume for downtrends as well. We're looking at a daily chart of Paycom software. This is a current chart, and I'm taking us back here to September of 2020 when Paycom did have this big significant pickup here in volume. And during that period, the stock did reverse this downtrend on super big volume, which for me would give me quite a bit of confidence that there is further upside ahead. And similar to this first chart that we looked at, Paycom did continue to advance on very heavy volume. As long as these high volume bars are taking place, you can feel confident that the stock has further upside ahead. We can see during this pullback, the stock, the volume did uh, lighten up a bit before an even higher advance. Now let's take a look at this downtrending period for Paycom. This is the beginning of 2021 and a couple of characteristics here at play. First up, we are seeing the stock begin to decline on above average volume, but this is where these outside indicators can be really quite helpful. Below, I have what's called a MACD, a moving average convergence divergence, and you're looking for signals, the black line up or below this red uh, signal line. So as Paycom began its decline, we can see this signal line, black line down through the red that's indicating that the near term momentum has shifted. And this can take place. We can see it took place back here in October and it could can still continue to advance out of that, but it's more of a yellow flag. But as the stock continues to decline, once it breaks below this 50 day simple moving average on heavy volume, I'm going to exit the stock. And we can see that not only did it continue to decline, we had a downtrend reversal head fake, but notice the volume is light. Paycom did go on to decline quite a bit further. And then in this May period, we can see a secondary break below that 50 day. Take a look at this huge volume relative to historical precedent. And we can see it was a heads up for further deterioration ahead. Now we can talk about even longer term charts and using those volume characteristics. We're looking at Biogen, a large cap biotech company, and this is a monthly price chart. And what I did want to share with you here is this each bar is, of course, one month of trading activity. And we can go back to 2011 when Biogen, as well as many biotech stocks, but uh, this particular name did break out of this multi-year base. Take a look at this big volume on this multi-year base breakout. The longer your base, 
the longer the move out of that base. And we can see that Biogen did in fact go on for a multi-year uptrend coming out of this monthly base breakout on heavy volume. Also, we can look at higher volume days and how they help really set the trend for going forward. Applied Materials is another big winner from my MEM Edge report. We did identify the stock as it reversed its downtrend last November 2020. And we can see the characteristics here with these much higher volume days where the stock broke back above these shorter term simple moving averages, continued higher volume on your up days as opposed to the red down days indicating further upside ahead. And then as we continue here, we can see this real period of consolidation, a pullback, very natural after this significant advance. And take a look, that pullback is occurring on lighter volume, which can tell you that you can stay with the stock. It's merely a consolidation. As the stock has a secondary base breakout, we can see huge volume characteristics as the stock advances to a near-term high. We're looking at another technology stock here. This is CyberArk, C-Y-B-R. This is a data chart taking us back to the 2019 period, but definitely worth noting because some key events take place here. Let's go back to February 2019. Back here, we can see this big gap up. CYBR posted triple digit earnings. And we talked about that gap up on volume is generally being a very bullish signal. Now, not all stocks are going to pull back. I do have other uh, courses that can teach you what other events can help you know that uh, the stock may or may not pull back. But in this case, overall, net net, this gap up on volume was in fact a very bullish signal as the stock went on for a multi-month advance. And again, that super big volume day was your first indication. Now, as we move further on, now we want to talk about the stock coming under distribution. The same characteristics that we reviewed early where your stock does begin to decline. We have that black line down through the red signaling momentum shift has taken place. Once this MACD gets down below zero, as well as the stock breaking below this 50 day simple moving average, I'm out of the stock. It's a clear cut exit signal. We can see now the stock is hitting upon upside resistance on its way down. It breaks this 200-day simple moving average again, big volume, signaling more downside ahead. Now, I did mention to you that in addition to using these volume characteristics for individual stocks, you can also use it in helping you spot moves in and out of different sectors. So what we are viewing here is a daily price chart of XLF. That is the financial ETF within the S&P 500. And let's take a look back here last fall in November. And this is upon uh, November 9th was when Pfizer came out with their vaccine announcement. And we did see a number of areas that had just been trending sideways really come into play. Financials were one of them. Take a look at this big volume on that gap up. We in fact did add several bank stocks to our suggested holdings list for my MEM Edge report back here in November, given this high volume conviction and base breakout. This group did go on to advance quite a bit out of here. It was an over 45% move with many stocks such as those on my MEM Edge report going up even higher. So from here, you are, of course, always wanting to get in front of the ideal candidate, that name that can go on to greatly outpace not only its peers, but of course, the broader markets. And Regions Financials was one such name that we did add to our list. A couple of characteristics that brought it to uh, my attention as to having leadership qualities. Uh, number one is the fact that RF, Regions Financials, 
did turn bullish ahead of the industry group. And oftentimes, as industry groups come in to favor, you will see several names trickle to that forefront and begin to emerge prior then the uh, prior to the entire group. And often those stocks will go on to be your leadership names, uh, those first out of the gate, so to speak. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these volume characteristics here. This is late October. RF did begin hitting my screens. It was hitting a near-term high on heavy volume. That group dynamic really gave us the confidence that this stock had much more upside ahead. And here, in fact, is a gap up on very heavy volume. RF pulled back to that 10-day and, of course, has did go on to advance higher. Uh, we did remove the stock upon its break below its 50-day simple moving average. This is another area that did come and spring to life last fall. I talk about using volume for sector rotation. This is XLE, uh, the energy industry group. And this is another area that we were all over as far as spotting this downtrend reversal. Take a look at the big volume on this gap up. And this energy group did go on, of course, to much greater heights uh, as of this recording, it is the year-to-date uh, winner as far outpacing other industry groups. But again, it all takes us back to this big spike in volume. And then you can marry that on this daily chart with this signal line, black up through the red, MACD up above that net neutral zero to signal further upside ahead. And then we also have this RSI, that is your relative strength indicator. And when we can see that the RSI broke up above this net neutral 50 and is trending higher. Now let's talk about stocks uh, because as important as it is, of course, we always want to get in front of stocks before they advance. I would argue even more important is having a solid exit plan. So let's take a look at Chipotle. This stock had been a big winner for us with my report, uh, but it did begin to waffle, at the very least fall out of favor. This is that big decline as many high growth, high multiple stocks really fell out of favor back uh, in this year, February, well into March. Uh, we were not in the stock at this period. It had peaked in price for us back here, but let's take a look at the stock's price action here in late April because we can see very high volume characteristics taking place. And the company came out with super strong numbers. However, the stock did not respond as it normally would with an advance. It actually broke down. But this huge volume, it was a signal that the stock was headed for lower uh, for more downside ahead. We can see with this MACD, this black line down through the red, that is a signal that your upside momentum has shifted. And you can marry that with the high volume characteristics. Oftentimes, it is a good idea to exit if you are shorter term in your trading. So we can see the stock, of course, has since then gone down, uh, continued to go down in price on relatively higher volume. And then from here, you're going to want to have other uh, signals in place to help keep you uh, certainly out of the stock before any kind of downtrend reversal really takes shape. Another uh, talking about using indicators as well as volume to spot a downtrend reversal. This is DocuSign, a very well-known software stock and a current chart. What I'm pointing out to you is this stock's break back above its shorter term moving averages, super heavy volume earnings related. And that is going to give me the confidence that there is further upside with DocuSign. You marry that with these outside momentum indicators, MACD turning positive, RSI turning positive, and you can see uh, the stock is in a very nice confirmed uptrend here. Volume coupled with positive news is also going to help give you that confidence. Here's a daily chart of IBM 
and the stock reported their earnings, their first quarter earnings back here at the end of April. And we can see in so doing, it had this big gap up on very big volume. The stock has gone on since then to greater heights, but this is really going to be that very first signal. Here's a look at Pfizer. Of course, we talked about that announcement as far as the vaccine, but let's take a look at your first sign that this uptrend here really was in trouble. And the first is as the stock declined, take a look at these huge volume characteristics as Pfizer continues to fall. We can also see the RSI turned negative, and we did have that negative black line through the red signal that that upside momentum had in fact shifted. Arista Networks, another big winner for the MEM Edge report, reviewing here this nice downtrend reversal. In February, the stock gapped up huge volume. It's not that easy to see on this chart, but it was very, very big above average volume, continued high volume as the stock advances, that RSI and the MACD trending upward and in positive territory. High volume as it relates to distribution. This is Caterpillar Tractor. It had been a very big winner from this past fall period, but let's take a look when the stock broke below this 50-day simple moving average. Take a look at all of this volume as institutions want out. The stock is continuing to be under distribution with that volume being a very keen signal to pay attention to as well as these outside momentum indicators. Here's a look at another base breakout on heavy volume. This is NVIDIA, a bellwether semiconductor stock. And the company did come out with very strong numbers, base breakout, but throughout this accumulation period, again, you're seeing very high volume, which is really quite constructive for the stock. And today it was up another 5%, another big winner, MEM Edge report name. From here, we can take a look at a bit of a dated chart, but worth noting, this is Weight Watchers back in 2018. And again, as the stock declines, you can see it big pickup here in the volume. And then once it has this big break, this really big volume only means further downside. And we can see that in fact was the case. You also had your outside momentum indicators trending downward and now in negative territory. So let's take a look because you can also use these volume characteristics together when you are looking at the broader markets. So I did want to point out to you going back here, this is a weekly price chart. We did taking you to that 2018 bear market when the markets had a very sharp decline here. And we can see the big pickup on volume as the S&P declined, but also the high volume here at that last week in December was very instrumental in helping point out capitulation and helping our work identify the market bottom as it did continue to advance out of that bear market. Taking a look at a more recent S&P 500 chart, we can see I did want to share with you back here in September of last year, the markets had this correction and we can see how that high volume really was instrumental as well as your outside stochastics turning negative and RSI. And currently we're seeing a little bit of higher volume, certainly today, but the market did close in the upper portion of its trading range, which is constructive. So as conclusions, you can see that using volume to time your trading is a really critical tool. And in addition, you do want to make sure that you have a system in place to help you know when volume has in fact picked up and you can put that information together with the chart dynamic. I do have a special offer. If you go to my website, meminvestmentresearch.com, you can trial my MEM Edge report for four weeks. It's a bi-weekly report for only $7. This report will help you not only get in front of stocks poised to outperform the markets, there also is very defined broader market analysis, as well as concise entry and exit points for your stocks. Hey guys, Dave Keller here with stockcharts.com. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, and we hope you did, 
hit the like button right below. Also, we have so much new content every day. Consider subscribing to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button in the video or right below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a fantastic day.